For more now of what's making headlines around the world, we're going to head over to London and talk to Sydney Palm. Albania hit with a major earthquake, and this is actually the second earthquake in a really short period of time, just a few months. In just a couple of months, Anne Marie, we know at least 13 people have been killed and over 600 injured. Many more are believed to be trapped. The magnitude 6.4 quake hit northwest of the capital of Tirana early this morning and was felt by some 10 million people in the region. Three apartment buildings collapsed while people were sleeping, and rescuers are continuing to search for people in the debris. Authorities are asking those in the most impacted areas to stay out of their homes, as there have been more than 100 aftershocks since the initial quake. Neighbor Neighboring countries are offering assistance in the recovery efforts. The United Nations issued a harsh warning today, saying countries have procrastinated too long in cutting their greenhouse gas emissions. Inger Anderson, who heads the UN Environment Program, says global temperatures could rise by 5 to 9 degrees Fahrenheit by the end of the century. A report published by the UN agency shows the amount of planet heating gases released into the atmosphere hit a new high last year. The report was issued ahead of the gathering of world leaders for the annual UN Climate Summit in Madrid next week. Finally, to Australia. We have an update on the koala that was rescued from a wildfire last week. Lewis was taken to an animal hospital after a woman ran into a bushfire to pluck him from a burning tree in New South Wales in a video that was shown around the world. Well, sadly, the koala had to be put down because of the severity of his injuries. Wildfires have ravaged Australia since September, killing six people, damaging more than 500 homes, and leading to the deaths of 1,000 koalas, according to animal charities. The vet said Lewis's burns were not improving and that animal welfare, the well-being of the koala, was most important. Anne-Marie. Yeah, I know they have to make these tough decisions all the time, um, but, you know, he really sort of captured our hearts. It's really uh, unfortunate to hear that. And it was a reunion, an emotional reunion between the koala and the woman um, who, yeah. that rescued him. Yeah. All right, Sydney, thank you very much.